introduction, and look, I have my special visitor here. Welcome, Princess Belle. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for coming. I know some of our friends were so sad because they weren't able to come and see you in person in August, but I'm so glad that you were able to come today, and you're going to paint a special project with us today. Oh, I'm so excited. What are we painting today? We are going to paint a rose bowl because we all know that in Beauty and the Beast, there was a rose. Mm -hmm. The enchanted rose. The enchanted rose, exactly. Yes. It's going to be so fun for our friends at home to be able to paint their enchanted rose today along with us. All right, Miss Belle, so I'm so excited. So as you can see in front of you is this really pretty rose dish. I love all the details inside, don't you? I do. So we're going to get started right away. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this really pretty color called Pretty in Pink. Although I know yellow is your color, isn't it? Yes, it is. For sure. So I'm going to give you some paint right there. And what we're going to do first is we are going to use our big brush like this. And we're just gonna paint inside the bowl. We're gonna get it all the way covered. So dip and just pour and just paint, paint, paint. So excited to see what it all looks like. Oh, and after it comes out of the kiln, it's so bright and shiny and gorgeous. I just love it. Now, I think that when you paint it the first time, it always feels so weird because it's so dry. <laughs> How's yours coming? Coming well so far. Good. Oh my goodness, it's such a beautiful pink. Oh, thank you. I'm waiting until you see it fired. <gasps> so bright and so gorgeous. So, how have you been spending your days in the castle during our isolation? Well, I've been, of course, reading in the Beast's Library. Do you have a favorite book that you like to read? Oh my goodness, I have so many books. I am so jealous of the library that you have. Favorite books, hmm, I'm a really big Harry Potter fan. I love fantasy, so that's probably why I like your story too. Oh yes, it's so fun. After you get done with your first coat, you can go ahead and just do a second coat. Oh perfect. It dries so fast. It does. Can you tell how fast it's drying? I'm already noticing how fast it's yes. already drying. And do you feel it? I like to feel it too because it's chalky. Oh look at that, yes. yes. Do you have lots of, um, lots of cooking that happens in the castle for you? Like, does Mrs. Potts get in there and make all kinds of wonderful treats yes, for you? Yes, Mrs. Potts loves to cook and to bake. Absolutely. I think Lumiere likes to try to sneak a cookie or two. <laughs> Cogsworth always catches him. Oh, uh, I bet, I bet, because he is on it, dog on it. You cannot mess around with Mr. Cogsworth. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, he will find a way to catch you, of course. <laughs> I love it. How is your papa? He's doing very well. Thank you for asking. He uh, has plenty of time to think of new inventions right now, of course. <laughs> I bet. I bet he does. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Mmm. Look at mine. Isn't it so pretty? Beautiful. Love, love, love. You're doing a wonderful job, though. Thank I bet our you. friends at home are having so much fun painting their bowls. Absolutely. I hope so. It's a good way to say safe safe home. Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay, are you ready for the next step? I am, yes. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse, rinse, rinse that brush. So if you wanna put in your water, rinse, 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 rinse. And then what I like to do is I like to dry off the brush so we get all that extra water off. And now we're gonna use another pink. So I don't know about you, but I do love my pinks. I like all different ones. So our next color we're gonna use is called in the pink. <laughs> Wonderful. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rose and we are just going to flip it over all the way, mm -hmm. just like that. All right, now that it's turned over, we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to dip it in our number four, which is called in the pink, and we're going to paint the entire bottom of the bowl. Two full coats, just like we did on the inside. Do you notice on the outside of this bowl, it has those ridges in there? It does, yes. yes. So it makes it look like it's a petal. It was so scary when the petals of the Enchanted Rose were falling. It, were, it was very scary. I had no idea that what it actually meant when those petals fell. No, I know it meant it was so mad at you. Mm -hmm. He was just scared though. It did frighten me. I think we all were frightened at the time. Mm -hmm, absolutely. But thank goodness he found love and understood before it fell from the very last petal. Absolutely. I wonder what the best part would be to be enchanted or to be real? What do you think? I mean, knowing people that have been enchanted. Hmm, let's see. I mean, it's definitely a different perspective when you're an enchanted object, of course. And there's a lot of more things to worry about, I think, when you're an enchanted object because you have all the feelings of a human. But true. Cogsworth, for example, could tell time at the same time. That's true, that's true. It was kind of practical, wasn't it? Absolutely. And then there was little Chip, who, of course, liked to blow bubbles whenever he could. <laughs> 
You know, I don't know if you've seen, um, on Facebook we have some videos and we demonstrated in the studio here at Distractions how to blow bubbles to make fun projects. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It was, it's really fun. You should try it sometime. Oh my goodness, I'll have to. Yes, I think Chip should join me. He would like <laughs> that as well. I think he, I know he would. I know he would. Do you need some more paint? I think I do, yes, please. There you go. Thank you. Yep. And don't be shy. You just grab lots Plenty. of paint on that brush and just paint, paint, paint. Never have too much pink. Indeed. What is your favorite color? Is it yellow or is it a different color? I do like yellow and gold. Yellow and gold, I can mm -hmm. see that. Absolutely. My favorite colors are purple and green. And you probably can oh, tell because our studio is, is very purple, purple and green. And green. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I had to use them both. <laughs> I'm on my second coat. Isn't it amazing how once you finish the first coat, it's already ready for the second because it dries it so dry fast? It dries so quickly. The best part about painting is it doesn't have to take a really long time to still look beautiful and fun. You know what else I love about this paint? Ooh, what? It doesn't stain. <gasps> Wonderful. I, oh, that looks perfect. Good job, Belle. Thank you so much. You are a very good painter. Um, we are going to take, now that it's dry, if you can touch and feel if it's chalky, then it's dry enough to turn over. Does yes. it feel okay? Thank oh, I like how you checked your hands, like, whoop, it's not on there. <laughs> and then you just give a flip, whoop. There we are. Perfect. Now, notice that you have a little bit of white around your edges. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that same color mm -hmm. and I'm actually gonna paint all along the top, like right in here and on there. So what we'll have is we'll have just a little bit of the darker color kind of bleeding into that lighter color. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be pretty and fun. Are you having fun? That's the important thing about oh, absolutely. painting, it's having fun. So I'm having so much fun. It's so much fun trying new things. Oh, I think so too. I have been so impressed by people who have come and taken our typical kits home. And some people had never painted before, but they wanted to try it. I mean, some people try, took home mosaic projects and they'd never done mosaics before. Oh, beautiful. I am always so proud of people when they're brave enough to try new things. Absolutely, I love mosaics. We have them in Beast's Castle. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right, I love that, that's beautiful. We do lots of mosaics around here. I think my favorite mosaic is the one we did of a chameleon. It just looks so gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. It has all the rainbow colors. Did the chameleon try to escape and blend in at all? <laughs> always. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. How's your rim looking? Almost done. Do we need to do two layers of it as well? You know what? You don't have to for this one. You can if you want to. Okay. Um, it's really because it's not meant to be a full coverage. It's just supposed to add just a little bit of fun to it. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. Awesome, you're doing so great. All right, so now we're gonna rinse our brush That's again. Fun. All right, so, Miss Bell, we are ready for the finishing touches. <gasps> this part's a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. If it's not perfect, it's perfectly fine. Okay. I don't want you to have any stress or any worries. This is all about the fun. <laughs> so, we are gonna use our darkest color. Now, here's a really funny thing. It's a definitely a dark pink, and it's called Red Rover. Isn't it funny that it's called Red Rover, even though it's a really dark that pink? That's so funny. Yes, but you'll just have to trust me on this. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna use a little brush. Do you have your little brush? Yes, I do. Awesome, my brush is a little bit lower than yours. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna trade, or are you good with yours? I think I'm good with mine, good. thank because, you. Because if we were trading, we'd have to wash them really good first. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, remember all those three lines that we see in there? Oh, yes. We are going to take our paintbrush, mm -hmm. this time we're gonna make it a little bit wet when we paint. Okay. That just makes it run easier when we're doing lines. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna get this color, and we are just going to paint any of the lines that you see. Oh, wonderful. And you just go right over them. If you mess up, don't worry about it. Nobody can tell. So it'll start to look kind of like this. Perfect. Yes, there you go. Wonderful. And then any line you see is fair game, lady. You just paint away. <gasps> Wonderful. Okay, so the only thing we need to do now is, can you guess? Turn it over. 
This is the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> if you're little at home, you should probably get somebody big to help you with the turning over because they can break if they fall, which would be so sad. But we have more where that comes from. Mm -hmm. All right, so now remember before when we talked about how there were lines on the outside for the petals? Yes, I see that. Yeah, we're gonna use our same color and we're just gonna trace that line. That's all we're gonna do. Wonderful. Won't that be easy peasy? Absolutely. And this is our very last step. And then it's ready to dry and then it can go into our film. Is the name for my big oven that I cook all the pottery in? No, I did not. Did you say that line for me one last time? <laughs> yes, I can. Did you know that kiln is the name of the oven that I cook my pottery in? It's a very special pottery oven. Oh, wonderful. Instead of the oven at home where you have like a lid that you can open, mm -hmm. my oven is a great big circle and the lid is on top and you pull it up. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And then all the pieces go very carefully inside. And do you know how long it has to cook? No, how long does it have to cook for? I think you should guess. Hmm, how long does it cook for? Uh, my guess is three hours? No way, no. Jose. <laughs> it's even longer than that. You'll never guess. Hmm, let's see here. Longer than three hours, mm -hmm. about 12 hours. Oh, now you're getting closer. I'm getting closer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About 18 hours. You guessed it. <gasps> I did. You did. Oh okay. Good job. They cook for 18 hours. Wow. Isn't that so unbelievable? It is a long time. It is a long time. We have to cook it very, very, very slowly wow. so that it comes out perfectly. If you try to cook it too fast, it would break. Oh, goodness. So we have to cook it very slowly. You want to guess what temperature it cooks at? Hmm. Let's see. 300 degrees? Even hotter. Even hotter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 400 degrees? Hotter. <gasps> mm. 500 degrees? Nope. Oh, goodness, that is very hot. Oh, let's it see. is. If it could cook at 500 degrees, you could cook it at home in your own oven, but oh. you can't. Oh. You have to have a special oven called a kiln. Oh, let's see. So even hotter than what we cook at home. Let's see, 700 degrees? Nope. <gasps> Even hotter than that? Even hotter. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Hmm. About 900 degrees? Even hotter. Even hotter than 900 degrees? Do you want me to tell you? Yes, please. 1,888 degrees. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of eights to remember. It's a lot of eights. Wow. It's true. It is so true. It cooks that hot. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's why it takes 18 hours because it has to slowly get that hot and then it has to slowly cool back down again. Wow. How is your rose coming? I think I'm almost done. Bell! <gasps> Yay! We are all done! Fantastic! So the next step is it will stay with me mm -hmm. and I will take care of it and I will place it. Do you want to see what it's going to look like though? Oh yes, please. I have a finished one. Would you like me to show you? Yes, please. I think we all would love to see it. Yes, let me grab it for you. Look how beautiful! It? So it's pretty. absolutely enchanting. Oh, and can you tell the different colors? Yes, you can see all of the colors. And it's so pretty. Beautiful. Well, I have so loved painting with you today, but you know what I would really, really love? What's that? Would you please, please, please sing a song for us today? Because I know you have the most beautiful voice in the whole world. Oh, thank you. I would love to. That would be so great. Yay! Tale as old as time, true as it can be.
Tune as old as song, bittersweet and strange, finding you can change, learning you were wrong, certain as the sun rises in the